Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. So a federal judge has denied a motion to dismiss charges against Baltimore state attorney, Marilyn Mosby, after her lawyers argued that the prosecutor on her case has a racist and vindictive agenda against her. And I believe that 200%. Oh yes, I believe that. Now, Marilyn Mosby is facing federal perjury and false mortgage application charges. He said her lawyers argued that assistant U.S. attorney Leo Wise has an affinity for targeting black officials and personal animosity against Mosby, according to reports. Now they said the legal team demanded that Wise be removed from the case or the case be dismissed altogether because of the lack of specific evidence against Mosby. Now U.S. District Judge Lydia K. Grisby rejected the arguments on April 14th. Now said, according to what the judge had said, Mosby failed to meet the legal standard for the charges to be dropped or Wise removed from the case. They said the arguments she said were a difference of opinion. That's interesting. Let's say according to Mosby's January indictment, she claims she faced financial hardship because of the virus and said to make too early withdrawals from her retirement, ladies and gentlemen, from her retirement, once again, from her retirement savings account, not nobody else's, hers. It said which totals $90,000. It's an exemption authorized under the CARES Act. However, the indictment says that Mosley receives her full gross salary of 248,000 that year. That doesn't mean that she hasn't suffering anything just cause you, oh, you made a certain amount of money. That doesn't mean you get all that money. You got taxes, you have some bills. There's a whole lot of things that go into that. You could have 248,000 and still be broke. Oh yes, you can. As a federal prosecutors also said, Mosley failed to acknowledge she had unpaid federal taxes and a lien on mortgage applications and said for two home purchases in Florida. She also said uh, one of the properties would be a second home, but had already made an agreement with a property management company to rent the home. It said, according to it said the indictment, it said Mosby's husband was not charged. Now it said Mosby's lead attorney, A. Scott Bolden, said the actions did not co constitute mortgage fraud because the management company had to get her approval before renting the home. It said Grisby said Bolden uh, failed to prove Wise had a racially motivated grudge against his client or had a pattern of prosecuting black officials. Now, you know, in the system of racism and white supremacy, if they not just straight up saying the N word, then, oh, you, that's, that's not proof. That's basically how it is. Now say, are you aware it say of any evidence that shows Mr. Wise has prosecuted someone because of their race? Is it black official or not? That's what the judge had asked. He said, I am not. So he said, why said Mosby utterly failed to prove her claims? He accused Mosby and her attorney of creating a victim fantasy to deflect from her conduct. They said, why also said the allegation of racial and animus based prosecution is a political ploy similar to former Donald Trump's unfounded claims during the 2020 presidential election. Hmm. That language sounds very interesting. He says all the plans to delegitimize anyone who has a, uh, temerity to question her behavior. He says, just like what Trump did. Why he keeps bringing up Trump? Trump has nothing to do with that. They say after the hearing, he said Bolden told reporters he was more disappointed than surprised. They say with Grisby's decision, but the ruling did not seem to detour Mosby or her legal team. According to the reports is that the case is scheduled to go on trial September 19th. She says, I'm going to fight and I'm going to prevail. Like I always do. Mosby told reporters outside of a courthouse. And they say the judge's ruling came the same day Mosby announced her plan to run for re-election. It says she released a video touting her track record as a state's attorney with sound bites with Kanye West's Jesus Walks It, but it was deleted from YouTube 
and replaced with a toned down announcement video. Now, I still, you know, when I heard about this happening to Marilyn Mosby, of course she went after, you know, the race soldiers, you know, she uh, wasn't towing the line, you know, in Baltimore, like they wanted her to actually tow the line. And it seems like they're trying to get at her for it because remember, she took money out of her retirement account, hers, not nobody else's, not the state's, her retirement account that her money went into. And then, you know, they, they say it was mortgage fraud. Yeah. They, they were looking to get at her. They were looking to get at her. And I noticed that when they're trying to ruin people's campaign, they have them caught up in some sort of court battle. And you know, but the husband wasn't charged at all. You just went after her that, that like I said, that's totally interesting, but I believe this is totally racism because that prosecutor's mentioned in Trump was Trump had nothing to do with it. He's saying a victim mentality. Usually that when you hear them folks using the term victim mentality, you already know what they own. So yeah, she got to fight that, you know, and, and oh, she got a bad legal team. You know what I'm saying? I know she got one guy to try to get it dismissed, but yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't even say, why would I, why would she have to go to jail for, for using her own money? Because anybody can prove, yeah, say I had a financial difficulty. Yes, I made 248000 but this is all my bills right here. By the time I'm paid with my bills, this is what I got left. That happens to a lot of people in this country. But y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about this, especially those of you who are from Baltimore. You know, what, what's being said, you know, in the streets that's not being put out there as of yet that some of you may know, you can let us know, you know, in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. And click that like button. That way you could uh, help us, you know, get this video up and you know, make sure you share it with everyone you know. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.